why don't we start off on just you telling the camera the importance of the Hobnob and Film Festival. The importance of the Hobnob and Film Festival is kind of, that's difficult to assess, right? Because the Hobnob and Film Festival functions on a number of different levels. It functions as a fundraiser for Cinema Center. It functions as a community gathering event. It functions as a way, you know, having a film festival like this is a way to add credibility to a city, right? You know, if Fort Wayne didn't have a film festival, Fort Wayne would be lacking something. <laughs> and so the, the fact is that Hobnobbin functions on these different levels to do different things. And so, you know, here at Cinema Center, we're the gathering place for the cinematic arts in Fort Wayne. We're the place where you come if you're a filmmaker to meet other filmmakers in Fort Wayne. We're a place where you come if you are a movie nerd. Um, we're a place where you come you know, if you just want to talk to other people about important issues. And, you know, Hobnobbin covers that gamut of things, right? You know, just the Q&A I was just doing on the last panel um, had both a scientist who studies waterways and a filmmaker who makes movies about waterways. And, you know, like, and those two coming together and having an artist sitting there talking about the craft of filmmaking when you get a really interesting shot of some really small egg of a salamander or a hell, yeah, salamander. And then the scientists talking about the importance of preserving those waterways and the ways in which to get fish and wildlife back into them. Um, there isn't another place in town where that conversation is going to happen. And so without it, um, there's, you know, we're lacking something, we're missing something as a community. And so, you know, it, to, to try and assess the importance of Hobnobbin is a little weird simply because it is important on like 70 different levels. Right, and I think one of the important points of emphasis you make with the Cinema Center is that it's a place for the community and you're really focused on growing the community. Why is not only being the, the harbor for this community important for the region, but for the state of filmmaking as a whole? Well, I mean, one of the things I will say is, you know, I often joke, Cinema Center is not for everybody. Right, um, the, you know, the fact is that if, if you're interested in just the stories told in Marvel movies, there's, there's a place for you here in town. The, you can go and see those movies and we don't begrudge other theaters their successes and, and we certainly don't wanna be a place that would say we would never show a Marvel movie because there are Marvel movies that start wonderful conversations. Um, but you know, the fact is that not everybody is interested in cinema as an art form. It's just, you know, not everybody's cup of tea, which is fine. You know, that's great. You know, it should be that, you know, different things are for different people. And so, you know, when we say the community in this instance, one of the things we're talking about is it's really good for Fort Wayne as a city to have a place like Cinema Center where people can go and gather and talk about these kinds of things. Um, but when we talk about growing our community, a lot of times what we're talking about is getting the word out to people such as us, such as the people who are in this room, you know, such as myself, who are interested in the cinematic arts and do want to have these conversations about, you know, like I said, you know, the, the, in the last block, you know, the first question I asked in the Q&A was to the director about how she got this tadpole, you know, in frame in a shot, you know, like the, the lens and the shallow depth of field she got on that shot was outstanding. And I was, what were you doing to get that shot? And, you know, somebody who would ask that question <laughs> as a home here at Cinema Center. Um, and we have a weekend of conversations like that one here for Hobnobbin. Um, and so, you know, when we talk about community, what we're talking about is people who gather around these important issues and use a film to spur a conversation. We just had um, the Center for Nonviolence screen a film here to talk about both the center itself and the issues that, that they, important issues that they talk about as, you know, part of their nonprofit organization. And we can have a conversation about that organization that started with a movie. 
you know? <laughs> and so, you know, what we're trying to do is build as many conversations as we can around the art of film. And sometimes the conversation is about the content and sometimes it's about how did you get that shot? <laughs> and so, you know, this is, this is the role we play, is how many times and how many good conversations can we start? And, and you know, that's the hope, and it's the hope for Hobnobbin being a place that, you know, celebrates that for a weekend where we sit here and we do it with local films and international films and documentary films and science fiction films and all of those kinds of things. So we're halfway through day two of the festival so far. It more than halfway now at this point. So by the time the weekend's done, the festival's over, what, it, what is one thing to you that at the end of the day makes you say, ah, this was a successful event? I, you know, people walking away with that feeling of, you know, feeling full. And, and you know, that's, this is not a, uh, you know, we ate good food moment. This is a, oh man, I, I wouldn't have thought about that. Or I wouldn't have, you know, explored that issue, or I wouldn't have, or I wouldn't have, you know, they, the more people who walk out of Cinema Center this weekend thinking about the content and the conversation, the more successful the, the film the festival was. And, you know, ultimately, you know, I joke, and, and I, on more than one occasion, have joked that if you walk out of Cinema Center talking about something other than what you saw or what we talked about in Cinema Center, then we failed. <laughs> we programmed the wrong thing. Um, because ultimately what we're doing should be thought provoking and interesting. And, you know, I mean, you know, Cinema Center over this past summer showed the old, you know, Christopher Reeve Superman film. We show Superman films. Why? Because we want to talk about blockbusters. We want to talk about the issues surrounding blockbusters and what blockbusters do to an industry of film and, and those kinds of things. And so we are not precluded from doing anything here at Cinema Center as long as what we do has people thinking about the issues pertaining to and surrounding film. And so when Hobnobbin is successful, it meets that same criteria, right? Hobnobbin is successful when the people who come to Hobnobbin are engaged and enter entertained, obviously, but also, you know, thinking about the kinds of things that, that they saw on screen. And so, you know, if people are walking out of here with a little different perspective, maybe on the world, you know, some of the, some of the, you know, people often joke, you know, why do you guys show so many international films? Well, not all of us get to travel to Iran. We've got films from Iran. And so we're getting to see a slice of the world that we're, you know, most people in Indiana may never see. And so, you know, it's an opportunity to explore, examine, and hear stories from places that you know you might never get to see, and that's that's an important thing, um, and so, yeah, that's what makes the success for me is when people leave here having seen or experienced or talked about something that maybe they wouldn't have done any other way. What do you envision Cinema Center and Hobnobbin, like their footprint essentially being within the next five years? I think it's important not to think of it that way. <laughs> um, Hobnobbin is an event that engages our members and the community and those kinds of things, but we're not a volume event, right? We're, it's not like what we wanna do is get bigger and expand. What we wanna do is be more engaging and have more opportunities. And so, you know, Hobnobbin's never gonna be Sundance, and for the most part, we don't want it to be. You know, <laughs> you know, what we want to do is provide opportunities and different paths to understanding and different kinds of conversations and those kinds of things. And so, you know, like we're never going to get the films that screened at Tribeca. Um, but the films we're going to get are things that, you know, come from Indiana filmmakers sometimes. They're things that come from all over the world and they're engaging us in ways that, Fort Wayne wouldn't otherwise have. The fact is the films that screen at Sundance will probably at some point screen at Cinema Center. They will, because they get distributors. <laughs> and so Hobnobbin's not that. Hobnobbin isn't just another weekend at Cinema Center. Hobnobbin is something different and something unique, and it should be, and it should remain that way. And so my hope is that Hobnobbin stays that, 
five years from now and continues to be that opportunity that wouldn't otherwise happen. And so, you know, the fact is that, I, you know, for me, growing per se is not necessarily the most important thing. The most important thing is being able to bring this to the community of Fort Wayne without, you know, losing that identity. And what is, like, I know this year was like, I think the highest percentage of Indiana filmmakers in the festival. Is that something in particular you're trying to harbor with Hobnobbin or did it I just happen then? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know if that's something we're trying to do with Hobnobbin as much as, um, you know, the, the fact is that Indiana is a growing but also struggling kind of film community. Um, Indiana needs support, um, but they also, you know, the filmmakers here also need a place to go to gather. Um, and so, you know, the fact is that Cinema Center needs to be a place where if I've got a script, I can go and meet a cinematographer. And, and so, you know, one of the things that we are trying to cultivate, trying to build, um, is a sense of this is the place where you go to have that experience. Um, you know, the, the joke is in Los Angeles, every, every person you would knock into has a script in their back pocket, right? It's not necessarily true in Indiana. And so if I do have a script in my back pocket, where do I go to find somebody who, you know, has a camera and a microphone? And where do I go, you know? And this needs to be that place. And so the opportunity for Hobnobbin to celebrate that work, you know, many of the films um, that come out of creative Indiana filmmakers don't get distributed. I mean, luckily Rocky was here and he talked about, you know, the, the, the streaming platform for Hudox and those kinds of things and there are opportunities now, but that, Hudox isn't, you know, paying somebody $100,000 to license their film, right? You know, the, the hope oftentimes when you make a film is that you can make enough money off it to make your next, right? And, and so the fact is that finding ways to help build these networks and give people the opportunity to show their work is also the chance to get other people to see the value in that work and to want to continue to produce that work. Um, and so, you know, if Hobnobbin can be a platform to show people the value in creating cinema here in Indiana, then that's a really positive impact that the, the Hobnobbin can have. And so, Having local filmmakers in the festival will always be something we try to do or strive to do. Um, and so if the work's there, we're going to celebrate it. And lastly, your famous question is, what haven't I asked you? I think the biggest thing um, to take away from Hobnobbin is that this work is important. Um, and when I say this work, I'm talking about being Cinema Center, I'm talking about having a film festival, I'm talking about making these movies, I'm talking about all of it. Um, the stuff's important, and, and I don't think we talk enough about the role that this kind of art can play in a community. Um, it can make your entire city and your entire world better. You know, this isn't just Having these artists in this area isn't just about, you know, making sitcoms or feature films or anything like that. It's also about the quality of commercials you see on your television, right? You know, the fact is that, you know, having these kinds of artists in our community allows us to build things that raise our community up as a whole, right? And so, you know, the ability for a local business to air a commercial um, because they had you know, somebody in town that's a cinematographer and another somebody in town who's an editor and those kinds of things, the more people in a community like that, the more we can build something sustainable and have networks of people. And so having this part of Fort Wayne is important. Um, and, and getting people to recognize that and getting people to support that is challenging at times. And so bringing people to Hobnob and getting them to see the, the, the power that this kind of storytelling can have and the different ways in which you can ha find a path to telling these stories, um, I think that's important. And so, you know, 
building that up. It takes time, it takes effort, um, but it also takes the recognition of people of how important this is.